What's up guys? I have been producing music for the last 10 years and I have been dealing with one very specific problem, something that's annoyed me for those 10 years and I was hoping that it would improve. It doesn't seem like it's ever going to improve, so I decided to solve it myself. But first let's explain the problem. So for these last 10 years, every time I finish a track or I'm working on a track, when I'm ready to get feedback on it, I bounce it out, upload it to SoundCloud, and then send that private link to a friend or to a label, or you, some people might send it to their manager, and you get some feedback on it. This comes with uh, some annoyances. One, there's been no innovation in that area. All you can do is generate a private link, and the only other useful feature I could think of on SoundCloud is the ability to replace audio um, and keep the link intact. So if you make a mistake after you send a link to somebody, you can panic and quickly fix it and then replace the audio. That's super useful. But there's nothing else that's really useful and I just wish they had done so much more. A few of the things I wish that they would do, one is being able to add different versions of tracks. So if I make a change like Oh, turn down my bass. I'd like to upload a new version of the track and get it grouped in with the old version and be able to add a little note saying what changed. The other thing that would be cool would be to be able to create different links and give them names so I can send a link to a record label and give it the name of the record label and I know that link's gone to that record label. If I'm ready to take down that link, I can delete that link while keeping all the other links intact all the other people that I've sent them. I would also like to be able to see where people are listening to my track and where they're skipping. For people that have ever worked on YouTube, you know that you can get this cool little graph that shows exactly at what points in your video people are clicking away and where they're watching so that you can make improvements to your next video. Well, it would be nice if when people listen to my song, I could see, oh, they're playing a lot of my first half of my drop but then they seem to get bored and they go down into the breakdown they skip to there they find the breakdown a little bit boring and they're skipping to the next drop and then they're not listening anymore and then they're replying and saying oh yeah we really liked it people's actions speak a lot louder than their words so i wish i could get that visual feedback um, a b listening in right in soundcloud would have been cool being able to load two tracks one above the other and compare them side by side instead of having to open up like two different browser sessions and switch back and forth between them. Uh, automatic syncing like Dropbox would have been really great. Um, having an app running on your desktop so when you bounce a track out of Ableton it goes straight into that folder and it immediately gets synced into your account. Um, I just find that SoundCloud uploader really annoying to use. It presents you with a bunch of different options. It tries to force you to distribute the track through SoundCloud. Um, yeah, they've just really done nothing to innovate there. All these frustrations eventually led me to decide to build my own app that I always wish I had. And that app is called Demo. I'm going to take you through Demo right now and show you how we've solved all of those problems. Okay, so welcome to Demo. And right here on the homepage, you can see some of the features that we've implemented. We've got a lot more than what's just displayed here on the homepage. I'm going to sign in and then take you through all the features myself. Okay, so we are here now in your track view. And from here, we can do a bunch of different things. So here you'll see all your different track names and you can see these tags. So let's start off with the tags. You can upload a track and categorize it into different stages of production. Over here, you can see we've implemented versions. So you can see, if I click here, view all, it'll show different versions. Here I've added a note for version three, uh, where it says fixed baseline. And they're all grouped together, so it's nice and organized. Let's go into the player here. Okay, so right away, what you can see over here is we've got a nice pretty waveform and there's these little highlighted pieces. These highlight pieces, highlighted pieces are the heat maps so you can see where people have listened to your track. I generated a link and I sent it to somebody and they listened to it and they only played these little sections here and then never kept on listening. It's useful information to see and if you have multiple share links it will give you multiple different views. So let me go back here quick. Okay, so I've opened a, a different track where that's got a bunch more 
data on it. Um, so here you can see a very busy heat map. You can see I've got four different links and it shows we've got three different plays on each spread amongst these uh, links. And that's showing the aggregated, the, the aggregated heat map data. So we can see it for each one. And so this is like the WhatsApp group friends and I can click on this little button here and it'll show exactly the heat map for that link. I can see where my WhatsApp group friends listen to the track. Okay, so we got the ability to create multiple links as you've just seen. Pretty simple. You can like give it a name like Anjuna created. You can also add um, some notes. You could say like still needs a vocal or something and make another link here. And now when we copy that link, I'm just going to open it in a new incognito window to show you what it would look like for the receiving person of that link. So now they see this over here still needs a vocal. We've also implemented this feedback form, which you can switch on and switch off if you want, um, where you can receive feedback from somebody based on categories. They can use these different sliders and vote like that. Um, they can answer whether they would play it in the DJ set or whether they would just listen to it casually at home. They can also give you some written feedback and then submit it. And they don't have to be signed in to listen or give feedback. And they can just type their name if they want, like that. And then leave some feedback. And then I'll show you a little bit of the player too. So we've got this uh, beautiful play here. I'm just going to turn it down with an oscilloscope and a LUFS meter, which is super useful. Yeah, you can see we're streaming lossless and you've got your tags, which you can um, you can change from this view, but just not right now because we are now viewing a shared link. If we go back over here, you can change them over here. It tells you the version you're on, you can edit the track name. And you can also edit your heat map if you don't like the colors of it. You can monochrome or you've got some, some colors for people that have uh, color blindness. Um, so yeah, a lot, a lot of customization there. And uh, yeah, we can switch the feed, feedback form on and off uh, on a per link basis or just globally. Okay, let, let's go into the next really super useful feature, which is the projects. People have been loving this. So this is a Kanban board and some of you developers out there will probably be well acquainted with this from Jira. Um, here you can create a new board and give it a name and a description. And you can then place tracks into the board here. You can just assign tracks like that and assigns them to the board. And then you can move them around into their different stages and it'll also update their status. Um, you can also delete things, you can make cards. So like I've got a card there saying sign contract and that's in the to finish lane at the moment. So if I had done that, then I could put it into finished. It's just a nice way to manage big projects like albums and EPs. Um, you can also play tracks directly from here and uh, you can click on tracks and add some personal notes just by clicking over there. Okay, then we've got playlists just like SoundCloud has. This is nothing new and fancy. Um, this is what a playlist looks like. Okay, the next really useful feature is the AB listening. Um, so here you've got this AB column and you'll see these little check boxes and this will let you select any two tracks you want and this compare button pops up. You hit compare, start the comparison and now you see the two waveforms overlaid. I can hit play and switch. And just compare the two. I don't need to explain what the usefulness of A being is, um, but mostly people would be using it like if they upload a new version and they want to send uh, this comparison to somebody and say, hey, which mix do you think sounds better? This is a great tool for that. Uh, there's loads of tools that let you do that, like in your door, 
But the problem with that is you can't just fire a link off and show that comparison to somebody. So this makes that super useful. All right, and then we have the track feedback view. So this is if you've used those feedback forms. I'll go to one that has got a, lot, a few reviews in it to show you what it looks like. So here you got your feedback summary. And this is basically just like an average of all the votes that you've gotten across these five responses. You can click this open and see a detailed view. And then this is just dummy data that I've, I've generated. These are not actual feedbacks from Anjuna. Um, but here you'll see like different ratings and also the comments from these different people. This is super useful just because you've got all your feedback in one place. Uh, you don't need to jump between WhatsApp and email and all these different places to read all your feedback. You can store it all in one place. Okay, and then uh, we've already spoken about versions, but if you wanted to add a new version, all you need to do is just click on these little dots here for the actions. This is where you can create a new version. Click on that, and then you'll add your new file here. Add some notes, upload it, and bam, it'll appear here under your versions. Version 1 and version 2, you'll see over there. Um, and we've got other actions like if you've sent a link to somebody, just like on SoundCloud, you can replace the audio if there's a problem with the audio. Oh yes, the last feature is the desktop app. So we've got an app for Windows and for Mac. And this basically functions like Dropbox. You, you set it to monitor a specific folder on your hard drive. And then every time a new file gets added to that folder, it'll be automatically uploaded to Demo. And even straight from this interface, you can create new share links um, and send them around. You can also directly from here, click over here, see your recent tracks, and then just click on that button and it'll open up the share links. So it makes this a super low friction workflow when it comes to sharing stuff. That's one of the problems that I wanted to solve with SoundCloud is that it's super high friction. Things take a long time to do. It's annoying. Um, and yeah, that's what we set out to solve with this. Okay, so if you like what we're doing here and you want to be a part of it, you can join the open beta at the moment. Um, you can click on this tag over here and join the Discord server if you want to report bugs or uh, give feedback or request new features. We're updating this thing almost daily, fixing things and and adding new features. Um, so yeah, if you want to be a part of that, join the Discord server. And thanks for watching. I hope you like the platform and I hope I'll see a bunch more of you canceling your sound. And I hope I'll see a bunch more of you using the platform.